Hello! In this video, we're going to learn about the grammar of modals. In a previous video, we learned about two types of modals, modals for possibility and for advice. Now let's see the grammar rules for how to use them in a sentence. Fortunately, the grammar for most modals is quite simple. Use only one modal and put the modal in front of the verb in a sentence. Let's see an example. In the sentence, Rosa runs 10 kilometers every day, we should first identify the verb. Did you find it? It's runs. Now we just need to put our modal right in front of the verb. Let's try might for possibility. And remember, we can add only one modal. That gets us the sentence, Rosa might run 10 kilometers every day. Because we've added a weak modal for possibility, might, the sentence now means that we don't know how much Rosa runs, or we don't know how often she runs. There's only a small possibility that she runs this far every day. We can follow the same steps to add a modal for advice. Rosa had better run 10 kilometers every day. Because we've added a strong modal for advice, had better, this changes the sentence to mean that we really think it's a good idea for her to run this far every day. There was an important change to the verb in our sentence when we added the modal. Originally, it was runs with the letter S on the end. But when we added the modal, the S disappeared. So we saw must run instead of must runs. That's because when we add the modal, the verb should change to its base form. For example, if we add a modal to the sentence Min Su is hungry, we change the verb is to its base form, be. That means we don't say Min Su may is hungry. Instead, we say Min Su may be hungry. Now that you know how to use modals, you can start to express your opinions much more precisely. Modals make it easier to say exactly what you mean because they can express small differences in things like possibility or advice. To wrap up, we've talked about using two types of modals to express opinions, possibility, and advice. We've also talked about the grammar for modals. Next, we're going to play a game to practice with modals.